Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pete and we are looking at the November craft box. Yes, folks, it's November already. Ooh, where did that go? I have no idea. But in about, ooh, what, about a little over 50 days, we will be sitting around the table with that turkey or whatever it is you eat on your Christmas table. So, what? There's no time like the present to have a look at some wonderful festive dies so you can get ahead and start making your Christmas cards and I'm sure many of you have started already. Now with the craft boxes we know we are getting wonderful value, we're getting ingenuity and we are getting quality but the value on this one folks is quite staggering. Now if you're in the UK it's $28.99 US $34.99. Let's take a little look at what's inside without any further preamble. Now, we have got no less than three sets of dies. This one is designed by the wonderful Kath Breen and it is box heart and star card. This is quite ingenious. It's both a card and a box at the same time. I will show you a little more about that coming up. Um, and then next up, next up, th this one, this one's gorgeous. It's the dessert treats set from Olivia Rose. Now you're getting all these tiny little dies with all this wonderful detail. There's also a circle here, and that is going to come into effect in a little while. Not only are you getting these dies, but you're also getting these accompanying stamps which fit on the different elements. So, for example, that one fits on the donut. That one on the gingerbread man, the candy cane and so on and so forth. Now, thirdly, from Lisa Jones, we have Cozy Bear. Now, this is both a die set and an embossing folder. It's a 2D embossing folder, but it is stunning, and you can use it with or without the dies. That's entirely up to you, and I shall show you some examples of how we can do that in a second. So, three sets of dies. So there's your value already. There you go. That, that more than makes up for the cost of the craft box. But not only that, we are giving you an embossing ink pad. Now, if you have one of these already, it's always handy to have another one. Um, they do last a long, long time, but I like to keep one clean and one dirty if I'm using embossing powders, for example. So there we have that. Then next up, no point having an embossing ink pad without having some embossing powder. And this one is a lovely mermaid kiss. It's sort of a teal, but it has an iridescence. There's some glitter in there as well. Speaking of glitter, we have white and green. Now these come with the set as well. And that green and that teal together are absolutely stunning. And we talked about that circle, which comes with the mini die set. And that fits over the top of these wonderful domes. The domes are always popular for your little shaker cards. You can fill them with glitter, you can fill them with beads and sequins, whatever you choose. And there are 12 domes in the pack, so we've got great value there. And finally, favorite product of mine, Luster Wax. Now, this Luster Wax, this is silver. Wonderful, wonderful product. If you want to add opulence to your cardstock, or if you want to get almost like a vintage effect sometimes for home decor and makes like that, then this is a great, great product. Now, I said finally, didn't I? But I forgot that we have some wonderful cardstock. And this is our Sizzix Festive cardstock range. And you're getting one sheet of each. To be honest with you, I would choose this set just for the greens. If you're into your florals, and of course florals, come with foliage as well. Just look at that set of four greens, but you're getting that lovely chocolate, the white, the black. You're getting that deep, deep red. That's a classic pillow box red. And of course, that pink. So it gives it a fresh contemporary look, or you can go down the traditional route, depending on how you want to put these colors together. So that is our cardstock. And for base cards, we have five sheets of clean, smooth white cardstock there. So that is what we're getting in the box. So we got the cardstock, we got the white, we've got the domes, we've got the two glitters, we've got the embossing pad, the luster wax, the embossing pad, and if that wasn't enough, three wonderful sets of dies. Now let's take a look at some of the things you can make with these individual dies. So 
This is Cozy Bear. Remember I said that you can use the embossing folder by itself. And there it is, so simple, just emboss onto white card, two colours of Distress Inks, just to pick that up. Very subtle, very cute. Now, if you wanted to die cut the parts of the bear, the scarf, the sweater, the bear's head, the nose, then you could die cut them individually and place them into your embossing folder and you can get this effect and look at look at that look at the depth of emboss on the sweater now the sweater you can see i embossed into the sweater and with the scarf i embossed out so i changed the depth on there so you get all these elements with the die cut so you get in the die cut and the folder and then finally remember our luster wax how about that that's what luster wax can give you particularly in conjunction with embossing or 3d embossing quite quite wonderful so there we are, that's our cozy bear. Now, how about this? How about this lovely box? I said it's a card, which it clearly is. But also, when I take off this ribbon, you'll notice that you can open this up, put in that star, and inside you can print your sentiment. It could be an invitation, it could be a place setting, it could be attached to a tag. And you get two dies, which make that wonderful confetti. So we have the star confetti, and you'll never guess what confetti we have with a heart. Would you believe? It's a ton of little hearts. There we are, all done with the card cardstock, with love at Christmas. So those are the card boxes. So it's card, it's a box. It's a card, it's a box. It's it's a what? It's the gift that keeps on giving. I know I always say that, don't I folks? But there we have it. So that is this wonderful die set from Cathbury, and you can see your confetti dies there. So let's slip that to one side, and we'll bring in this one. Now, this, as I said, works together with the domes, and you can see this circle die here. When you cut it as an aperture, it fits directly over the dome. Let's take a look at some of the cuts, and I made very, very simple cuts with this. Now, normally I would fill that with beads, I would fill it, fill it with sequins or glitter, it's entirely up to you. But shaky things don't work on camera. You see, when I do that, it's a blur. It's a blur, you'd hear a rattle, but nothing else. So I've saved you the trouble. There we are, and there's that lovely lolly. How about, how about a gingerbread man? I would get this set just for that gingerbread man. It's so cute. And again, all the base cards made with those lovely colours, or the white cardstock which comes in the set. And here we've cut the circle as the aperture and we've die cut some circles of card as well. Lovely cupcake, season's eating, sorry about the pun. Uh, oh, how about our lollipop again? But this time we've used the dome over a stamped image with the lolly on the side. So you can use them with or without the dome, should you wish. Now, at Christmas time, that smell of clementines and oranges, you know, when they're dried and they're hanging on the tree with cinnamon sticks, perhaps. Classic Christmas image, that one, simply the zest. Oh, that's a bad one, Pete. Sorry about that, folks. Candy cane kisses. There you go. That, the detail on that candy cane, that comes from the stamp, that accompanying stamp, which fits onto the candy cane die cut itself. Super cute. Then how about a festive, you know, donuts, any time of year, really. I mean, if you go into a donut store at Christmas time, they'll look like Christmas puddings, they'll be in the Christmas colors. There we are, and you even get a little sprig of holly on top there. And then finally, settle back. When everybody's gone home, put your feet at the washing up stand. It's time for a nice, cozy hot chocolate or latte in front of the TV. And that's a hug in a mug, folks. So. There we have it, there's quite a bit going on there. As I said, quality, we know, because we wouldn't put our name to it unless it was top quality. Value, wow, it's, this one was just out of the park. Three wonderful die sets and all those bits and pieces going on. So if you are interested in this craft box, and I, I would move quick because they do tend to sell out quick, particularly, and I, I love this one. I think this is my favorite. I, I'm a sucker for Christmas anyway, but this is my favorite one of the year thus far. So remember if it's sizzix.co.uk, that's the UK, $28.99 or if you go on sizzix.com you can get this for $34, I should say, and 99 cents. Thanks for watching uh, and good luck. It's, it's, it's a wonderful set um, and just the perfect time uh, before the festivities really kick in. 
Thanks for watching. I've been Pete. See you again soon.